Hey guys, Money Maniacs coming to you today, and we're going to touch on a topic that is semi-controversial, just a tad. Um, what I mean by that is fractional silver. A good idea or not such a good idea? Um, I'm going to give, we're going to go over today the reasons why I believe it's a fractional silver is a good idea. Um, not just because of the silver market rising at the moment, but because if you stack on a budget, um, if you're someone that lives paycheck to paycheck or doesn't have much saved, yeah, like we do, if you don't have much saved, things like that, then this might benefit you more often. If you're one of those that can, you know, go spend $2,000 at a time and buy silver, then probably not for you and just unless you just think they're cute and you want to you want to collect them or keep them um what we're going to get into are these these 10 ounce rounds you guys have seen all this before um these literally right now your 10 ounce rounds are very very inexpensive for silver um depending on where you get them from uh whether you get them on a bullion online or you could get them from your local coin store you're probably going to end up spending no more than two dollars a piece um, for a tenth ounce round unless it carries a really really high newsmatic value and then you're just paying for the newsmatic on top of that um, <clears throat> the most expensive thing on the table is this here just because of where it comes from um, and because of how much silver is how much fractional silver is in the container which is a hundred grams which is a little over three ounces but they still are fractional silver because you could technically pull these apart and they're 10 gram bars a piece I think they're cute you think they're cute? yeah um, over here mm -hmm. these little one gram bars they are connected together um, they come in little sets like this uh, those cost only I think we paid for 10 grams. I think it was about four, four something or five dollars at our local corn, our local coin store. No. What was it? You paid 16 for them. No, 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 no. That was that was the that was Kiki's bigger one that had the 20. Oh. Yeah, that was Kiki's 20 gram. But I think we only paid like five or six dollars mm -hmm. or something like that for these. Because these I are going to the receipt. Yeah, right. Well, we did, if we had the receipt, we could bring them out to you. Um, these half ounce rounds, we paid a little bit more of a premium for just because they are the uh, S Mint half dollar from 1982. They are the uh, medallion um, commemorative, excuse me, commemorative coins. They still are a half dollar, so they still are a coin. The Washington, um, George Washington. Uh, 250th anniversary of uh, of his birth so though so we did pay a little bit more premium on those now these gram bars that you see they're literally 60 cents a piece yes. so I, all this is what I'm getting at is it's really affordable for you guys and for us um, and it still adds ounces to our stack our, our investment um, yeah I mean you know we, they're not one ounce rounds or anything like that but if you're on a budget and you want to get other things or you don't you just don't have that much money because you had to pay a lot of bills that week or or whatever you could still get some of these and you're still putting them towards your stack like the quarter troy ounce bar I think that one we paid what seven or eight dollars for that would be cute that would be cute in your treasure chest. Um, I'm slowly stealing the smaller silver. You're slowly stealing the smaller silver from me? The the Gager bar that she really likes because of the building on the back, that's a 10 gram bar, but obviously we paid a little more of a premium on it just because of the Gager that's on it, just like the Valcombi um, we paid. Um, but that's just one form over here of fractional silver that you can get into now there's going to be other forms you can get into the 
constitutional silver, a.k.a. I don't like the word junk silver, which I don't believe any silver is junk, but that's a here nor That's another story, another time. Hi. Huh? I understand that you split these ones up in this category, but this is technically fractional silver, too. That's or, why they're in the fraction. No, this is technically constitutional silver, too. No, because these are, say, on the bottom, they don't say one dime, they say 0.99 silver. They're commemorative. They're, they're, but they look like dimes. Yeah, but that's just the way they're... It, it's just bullion. That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> dumb. Um, uh, over here, like the mercury dimes, the barber dimes, you got silver quarters. Um... I didn't bring any out, but you got the 40% halves, the 90% halves. You got Benji's. Which would be the 90% halves. Got a, you know her and her Benji's. Um, I got the 40% Ikes. Um, these are really inexpensive. The Ikes are about $7 a coin just because they're much bigger, you know, obviously than the half dollar. The half dollar go for about $3.50 a piece. I got, I got these for $6.50 or $6.75 a piece. Benji's go for $7 a piece. Yeah, he was selling the Benji's for 7 at the time. Um, the dimes, he's selling them for like $1.25 a piece. So it's it's still inexpensive and you're still putting silver in your stack. So it's still really cool if you want to go that route. Um, wartime nickels are another good one uh, because they're only 35% silver. You could literally get a roll of, of wartime nickels right now for about $46 uh, spot price, I could be a dollar or two off of that because of the way spot's going up and down crazily right now. Um, so under $50, you can get a roll of nickels. You can get a roll of dimes for about $65. Um, a roll of quarters for like 130 So, I mean, or you could just break it down and go buy like two or three quarters at a time. Or seven Benji's, which would be $70. Yeah, or ten Benji's for $70 like you did. Um... Another thing that you guys could get into, that's another form of fractional silver that is really good to stack. Obviously, we're money maniacs, so we, what I call the trifecta, we do all of it. The third part is the poured silver. Now, every stacker that I know, I haven't met one yet that does not like poured silver or any poured bar or poured something. That, <laughs> Whether it could just be one design or someone, they're going to have a, a mold that can turn that can turn silver into a heart shape or you know, a statue or something, and you're going to love it. Funny story, when I first got into um, forward silver and everything else, I loved it, but at the time, I didn't like how they made it. Oh, with well, the way they melted down the silver and made the shots and everything and stuff like that. Like they would melt down like um, ancient, well not really ancient, but like silver, silverware and stuff that they would have in like old Victorian houses. They don't really do that anymore, I they found out. They did when I first got into it. When you it. first got into it, they didn't do that anymore. Now they like to melt down the constitutional. Again, I really don't like that. Yeah. Um, so I have an issue when it comes to port silver, but I love collecting it. Yeah. Um, this this little bar here, um, it's literally the, the bar that's the .5 ounce. So I know that we paid back then. Back when we got these, spot was only at four, a little over $14 an ounce. Mm -hmm. So I know this, we for the half ounce, we paid $5 for it because he gave it to us on a discount. The 1.1 1 .1 ounce bar he gave it to us for, I think, 15 And the uh, smaller skull we bought off of eBay. Yeah, the smaller... It came with the chest, it came with a necklace, and it came with a copper round. Yeah, this one came with a bunch of gifts. You got a necklace, a copper round. You guys saw that unboxing video that's in the... That's up there in the cor corner, wherever it's at. Which was kind of cool because I only bought it for the skull and the chest. Yeah, and then she ends up getting, you know, the copper round, which is for free and everything like that. But, so we got that one. I can't remember what we paid on this one. And then the two ounce we got from our local coin store. And because of where it came from, because it's a two ounce, or we pay, even though it was $14 an ounce, we paid 35 or $37 for the skull. Mm -hmm. Even when melt, or was that 28 So, again, it's newsmatic. It's collectible. So there's a premium on top of it. It goes in my yeah. Um, the, the point I'm getting out of this whole video 
is for all of us that stack on a budget, it's, to me, it's a lot better to go with fractional silver. Sometimes, I'm not saying always buy it. I like to buy my one ounces, my two ounces, my 10 ounces, my five ounces. You know, I like to buy those too. But if I have to go on a strict budget because of life happens or bills get in the way, I say bills get in the way. <laughs> but all the bills get in the way all the time, don't they guys? Um, Let's get this straight. All the bellies get in the way. All the bellies get in the way. <laughs> um, but if you're on like a certain budget or something like that, then, you know, this might be better for you to go for something like this if you can afford some of the premium or stuff like that then you'd want to go with you know the port silver or some of the grand bars that you know it's going to have a little bit of a premium because of where they came from because that name um carries that premium because of the reputation that they have um we appreciate you guys watching the video yes. one of the things that um you probably so Jess can't see me over raising my hand. Um, one of the things that I guess we would recommend when you first start out buying silver is the smaller, like, constitutional silver because of how cheap you can get it. Because you can get a lot of it for the same price you would be able to get for, like, one or two bullion. Well, it's a, it'd be cheaper to collect, and it's easier. It's a lot funner to collect to me because you got the dime tube, the quarter tube, the nickel tube. You can also do books. You got the dollar tube. You got, yeah, yeah. You guys could do like uh, even this, like how what she's doing. I showed you guys this before, but you guys could even do the books. Like these are all these are all her bingies, and this is her Franklin half dollar bingy book. So all this is ninety percent silver. So you guys could do it. You can make a collection out of it. So. Like if, your kids, if you want to, if your kids want to get into collecting silver, one of the best things we can recommend you doing for your kids is start them off on like a dimes book, a nickel book, or even a Benji book. Or yeah, or that, or even even if um, for the non-silver, get them on a get them on a penny book. Or a nice book. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've got a. We've got penny books here that we're that we're working on. Um, this one's almost done here. Get them a book like this. I'll show you the. Get them a book like this. It's nineteen. It's nineteen forty one to nineteen seventy four. So the those wheat pennies they're not that hard to find, mm -hmm. and all the other all the other uh, pennies are just what we get in our normal change. And, and you can make a little game out of it. You can, yeah, you, you can have make, them look at the change that they get from like going to the store and buying a candy. Yeah, or if you have extra pennies that you know we always just discard, give it to them and let them see if it's a year they need to put it in their book. It makes them happy and it's cheap on your wallet. Uh -huh. So just different ways to you know stack on a budget. Um, like get I your said, kids into it and get your and get the kids and younger people into it. That way, if they don't want to use all their allowance, well, it's like, okay, well, if they want to get some things, you say you give them $20, and they want to go get a, well, they can go get, like, five or six dimes, silver dimes, and they'll still have close to $15 left over, you know, or, and that's, that's the way they can start doing silver, and they can still go get their toy or whatever they want to, you know, kind of thing. But, um, guys, we appreciate you watching the video. Um, uh, let us know your opinion about the whole video down in the comments so we can get a conversation going. Yes, please do. Um, want to let you guys know that check the description out right down below because we do have a Money Maniacs Discord channel now. If you click on that um, link, it'll automatically take you in and then you just click join. You're automatically on our Discord page if you want to upload some pictures of like your collections and show them off to us. Show the other coin community people that are already on there. We've got, what, 20 or 30 people already on the Discord page? I mean, that yeah. that thing blew up within, like, two days. It was like... Well, it's going to help because our, uh, our moderators, yeah. Josh put it over into our other Discord page. But, um, but uh, so, uh, and, you know, you can share comments there. You can share a, a picture or a video. Or we if you always want to stop in and just say hi, because some people just like to... Hi, how's your day going? This is what I'm doing, kind of thing. And we encourage you to get into, like, calls and stuff so you can talk with each other, make friends. Yeah, because uh, that, that way 
if you're worried about you know showing your face or anything and you don't really care for the stream yard or whatever that's just another way that we have penny chat nickel chat dime chat silver dollar chat quarter chat binge chat half dollar chat we and the chats are if you want to put up pictures we even have foreign collections and they would they all have a they all have a call button on there too where if you get into a call um other people will see that and they might just want to join you and it's just a good way to meet people um we try to share the love find people that's in the similar interests as you like, yeah if you like personally collecting like benji you can hop into a benji or call yeah or, or if you about. find somebody that all they want to do is pennies all day get into the penny call with somebody and they'll you can sit there for hours and talk about wheaties or buffalo heads or bird sense you know whatever you want yeah. to talk about so it's just it's just another way for us to uh for social media like our instagram and twitter our instagram and twitter we're still working on guys for us when we click the links it's popping up for us well so for on twitter it is for instagram but you messed up and then finished the uh, okay apparently i apparently i tried to do some it like a long time ago and it, don't get me don't do, don't let me do it um but anyway i know we're rambling sorry about that um so click the link if you'd like to um our new email is on the about page about us now um our paypal is on there now so doing a lot of upgrades and updates to the channel uh we'll keep you informed of anything new or coming so we appreciate you watching we please will. subscribe hit smash that like button it does really help us out a lot we are still working on getting to 200 subs and you wanted to say and we will be getting a P.O. box soon, so that would be going into the about page. And into the, every description of the video. We will be getting a P.O. box, probably not for about three weeks, because the post office here is, a, I think we're on a list. So we'll let you guys know when that's here, and then we'll have our P.O. box in there as well. So guys, until next time, we appreciate you guys watching. Um, uh, we appreciate all the comments. We like talking to everybody. Uh, uh, like I said, guys, um, we just appreciate the, the the family here, the the community. You guys, everybody here is awesome. Uh, until next time, guys. This is Money Maniac signing out. Have a great day.